text on the line starts. Lovely to see you back. Good to see you. How are you doing? Fantastic. Are Fantastic. you a football fan? Very much so. I oh, like any sport, especially when New Zealand's playing. Yeah. New Zealand, Canterbury, I'm passionate. Very much one night, so yeah, and I love it. Going to be interesting tonight, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I'll be setting up for sure. Will you? For Good sure, on yeah. you. Yeah. It's still, you know, I like it, but still won't be staying up for it. I have oh, to say. Man, I'm not going to lie it. about it. I love it. It's a pretty, pretty big occasion, isn't <laughs> it? Yeah, it is. It's good to see. Now, we're doing something with. Well, yeah, well, chicken. today, like cold weather, it's roast season, so I thought, well, let's do something. You, you know, you have a roast and there's heaps of, heaps of meat left over, so we're going to do something with leftover roast chicken. So Good idea, because we a... always do wonder what to do with our leftover chicken. Well, don't exactly. We? Normally, you know, most of it probably goes into a sandwich or maybe a salad, but. It's not really salad weather, so I thought let's do something that's yeah. pretty hearty and, and uh, comfort food. So we're going to make a creamy chicken and mushroom pie. So it should Yum. go down well. That sounds exciting. Very yeah. cool. So plenty of butter. Yeah. Yeah, we love that. This is going to start to sort of fry off our ingredients and also make our the base of our roux, which will thicken the thicken the chicken pie up. Now, but anything with cream, I reckon you've got to have a bit of bacon. <laughs> it's, uh, it just seems to go hand in hand, it doesn't does, it? Does doesn't it? So I've just got four rashes of bacon here, you know, cutting them up nice and fine. The only thing is, if you if you put bacon in something, be careful with the salt, because you know you all know bacon's got a lot of salt in it. So mm. people tend to season like they normally would, and if they've got the uh, the bacon in there, sometimes they work out, oh crikey, I've, uh, I've over seasoned it. Yeah. So we don't want to go to get the pan too hot, otherwise we're going to burn the uh, burn the butter. So we're just going to have it sort of at a medium heat, and um, as that butter melts down, we'll fry off the. The bacon. What kind of bacon have you used there? I just use text? streaky. Yeah. I love streaky. Mm. I think it's got the best flavour and you need a little bit of fat in it, you know, with, with the fat yeah. comes the flavour. This is just two cloves of garlic. Just slice them up. I, I prefer it sliced rather than, than um, chopped up. I, I mean, just, it seems to be softy. You don't, it, it sort of almost goes caramelising. So or, not you know, quite as yeah, severe Yeah, it's intense. Mm, mm. Um, Next, we're going to do some portobello mushrooms. You can use button mushrooms if you like, but I, I quite, I think these guys have got, you know, heaps more flavour than the um, the button mushrooms, so I like them. This is around about 100 to 120 grams worth of, of portobellos. I can just go in there as well. Just chop them up. Yeah, and this is a great thing. I, I reckon that you could make this from way to go if you, the time it takes to heat your oven up, it would probably be ready, you know. it's uh, The longest thing is going to be popping the pastry on mm, the top and, mm. and cooking it in the oven. So. so that's the good thing about it, isn't it? Because of course you've had your roast the night before, the chicken's exactly. all done, it's just a matter of taking that off the bone. That's dead right. Yep, you know, you strip it, and it, chicken shreds so nicely, it sort of almost shreds naturally. Mm. You don't need to worry about chopping it, you just sort of pull, pull it. it apart, yeah. Exactly, so we're just going to let that sort of sweep down for a, a little bit. And for those of us that organised boiling the chicken carcass for the stock afterwards. Hey, oh, stop it, that's great. <laughs> She's loving everything like that, eh? I'm learning. <laughs> Try and tidy as I go, that's something that I'm not particularly great at, you know. <laughs> right, so we've just got some spring onions. Any onions are fine. I, I, the only reason I like the springers is um, they've got quite a gentle flavour and mainly colour. They look really good in the creamy sort of sauce, so. Yeah, that green's so fresh yeah, looking, isn't it? it does. It looks grouse, so. I'm going to whack these up. You don't need to, and the good thing about it, it's a, it's a fairly rustic, hearty sort of comfort food, so you, it doesn't need to be ultra precise, so don't feel... You have to make everything tiny and perfect, just, just whack it up and get it in there. And it's all going to taste great. And it's it just will. good natural ingredients, isn't it? It is, yeah, yeah there's nothing too, mm. nothing too processed and stuff, so... I'm going to give it a bit of a clean. Keep those winter ills at bay, you know what too they say right. about chicken? Yeah. I mean, it, what, I don't know why, but whenever you're sick, your mum always seems to make your chicken soup. So I know. There's Where did probably that... something to it, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, something medicinal in there for sure. It's got some corn, up to some frozen corn kernels. Mm -hmm. If you're uh, really good, you could probably strip it off some fresh corn, but why would in you? a pie, I don't reckon you can tell. <laughs> you can taste the difference. You're doing better than I am. So. <laughs> it's smelling amazing already. Exactly. So um, with the pastry lid, you've got two ways. I'm going to show you two ways to present it. Um, either in a pie, mm -hmm. it'll be pie dish here, Great. or just as an open pie on a plate. So if you're doing it as an open pie, what you do is you just pop this in the oven, on an oven tray, sorry. So just cook the pastry? Yep. Mm -hmm. Give it a brush. I've put a wee star for the Lone Star, so there you go. Good on you. We plug there. Um, you know, we season if you want. And then just put that on a baking tray in the middle of the oven, and at about 180, and that'll just rise up and make it really nice. Mm -hmm. If you're going to do it uh, in your pie dish, cut it slightly, I've, I've cut it to, this, to the shape of the pie. Yes. You cut it slightly bigger, put your pie mix in and then just 
crimp it around the outsides and just rip off any excess. So okay. that's nice and easy. But uh, we'll so show you those. So make it bigger so that it won't yeah. yep, shrink. Otherwise, it, as it rises, it could get. It uh, yeah, shrinks in and goes like that. Mm. So now that we've got that, we're just going to put some flour. Mm -hmm. As I said, this will form butter and, and, uh, and flour form the basis of roux, which is with the oldest thickening agent that we've. And most French cuisine, they like they use their roux. It fairly, makes a fairly heavy sauce, um, which is perfect for a pie. But yeah, because it holds it all together, doesn't exactly, it? Exactly. Yeah. A lot of chefs have moved away from roux-based sort of soups and sauces um, in favour of more lighter options, which is uh, probably better. I mean, I. I only use roux for really gutsy sort of mm -hmm. hearty things. You're making a good cheese sauce and that kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. When you want it, you want it to sit there and sort of yeah. whack down <laughs> your guts and go, oh. Yeah. <laughs> but this is great that it's all just in one pan. Well, that's just it. You don't have to make about, a separate it's one. It's about finished now. We've just got some three quarters of a cup of milk, and it's um, normally when you're doing a roux, you, you kind of you're whisking a little bit at a time and you're worrying about lumps. But where I've got such a we're not really making a, um, a sauce as such, so we just can whack it in there and stir like heck. So, so that's give even it a bit better. more heat. So I've got some uh, herbs here, some fresh chopped herbs. Was, so what are you using? Mm -hmm. We've got some parsley, flat leaf parsley if you can get it, some thyme and some sage. They're all sort of chicken friendly herbs. So Lovely. We'll grab those. This will give it a nice sort of aromatic fragrance. And we, to be honest, we're just about there. Okay. We've got our three quarters of a cup of cream, because that makes it really decadent. And that'll, that'll give you the bit where people go, oh, this, why is yours better than mine? <laughs> it's the cream. Because I use cream. <laughs> That's the right. The cream is the key. Well, we'll let this cook down for a little bit longer. We'll go to a break yeah, and excellent. then come back and then that will be ready to pop in the that oven. That will do. Yep. Sounds good. And we'll have that recipe for you later as well. So do stay with us. We're back in the kitchen after the break with text from The Lone Star.